Hello everybody. The past couple of days, I've been digging more into the Colleen Bollinger, AKA Miranda Sings grooming allegations. And what I'm finding is really fascinating. I don't know how she got away with this for so many years. I find that Colleen posted a pregnant picture of herself with her legs cocked open, stating there's a tiny little inside of me at all times. Then I find that she's doing really disturbing things at live events. She has one segment called Children Dressed Like Porn, where she brings them up on the stage and basically humiliates them in front of an entire audience. During these live events, she asks children to reach inside her pants to pull out a cheese ball to eat. She also brought up children on the stage with lay down on their back and she spreads open their legs. It's supposed to be a fart joke. So that's what's happening at her live events. Get a load of what was going on on private group chat with children. First of all, she names the chat the Wieners. Hmm. In these group chats, she's asking children about their sexual position. She's having discussions about sex toys, vibrators, asking them questions about what kind of moves she should make um, sexually. She even sent one of the children in the group chat lingerie. My question is, where are the parents? Where are the parents at these live events protecting children from being humiliated and put into very provocative situations that's very uncomfortable for them? Where are the parents of this chat group called the Wieners, where she's asking very provocative questions to them? Hmm? Parents, we need to do a better job monitoring our children and their activity online. As a therapist for over 20 years, and also as a mother, I think we're partly to blame. We need to pay closer attention to what our children is doing online. My name is Dr. Alicia and I am a therapist and a mother and I am very concerned. The irony of this whole situation is that right now as we speak, Miranda Sings has 8 million followers on Instagram. And my husband, Dr. Boyce, who has dedicated his entire life to empowering black people, lost his Instagram page, yet this groomer is free to post and to have influence on Instagram just as she pleases. We need to do better.